Welcome. In this video, we're going to go over the basics of how to play Marvel United and then follow up with a solo playthrough against the Red Skull. So Marvel United is a cooperative game for one to four players where we take on the role of Marvel superheroes and work together to try to thwart the plans of the evil mastermind. So first for setup, we'll place the mission guide in the center of the table. So we have the villain dashboard up here and then three mission cards below there. And as, as we unlock each one of those, we are gonna get a benefit. The first one is not a good benefit. Uh, the villain is gonna act after every two hero cards versus three. But after we unlock the next, the villain is then gonna be vulnerable to damage. And while we don't need to, if we unlock the third, each hero immediately will be able to draw a card. And those missions, one is gonna be defeating nine thugs. So we can place that out. The next is clearing four threats. And the other is rescuing nine civilians. Then we will choose one of the villains. These are the three in the base game. We've got Red Skull, Taskmaster, and Ultron. We are gonna play with the Red Skull here. So over here, it's gonna tell us how much health he gets per player. So we're playing as three heroes. So it's gonna start with eight health. His BAM ability, deal one damage to each hero in Red Skull's location and increase the fear track by two. And down here's the fear track. The villainous plot, when this track reaches 20, the heroes lose, so that's one way for us to lose. And overflow, if a civilian or a thug token can't be added to a location, increase the fear track by one for each token you couldn't add. So I'll go ahead and place him out here. And just a little bit off screen, I've got all the tokens we're gonna to need. So we'll go ahead and place the eight health tokens on Red Skull. Then we need to pick six random location cards. So just shuffling up here. And we're gonna put those around the board. I'm basically gonna put, we need to make a circle, but I'm just gonna have a half circle. So I've got room for a card stem at the bottom. First is gonna be Stark Labs. So what we have here is it's gonna start with one civilian and two thugs on it, and it has a total of four spaces. The location ability is gonna be covered up to start with, but if we do get the card off of this, the end of our turn, we may swap one card from our hand with one of our cards in the storyline. Next is Shield Headquarters. So we're gonna put those out here shortly. End of turn, you may discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck to remove one crisis token from anywhere. Then shield helicarrier. We may move to any other location. Avengers tower, end of turn, you may search your deck for one card and set it aside, then shuffle your deck and place that card on top. Then Times Square, end of turn, you may rescue one civilian from this location. And lastly, Central Park, end of turn, you may move up to two civilians or thugs in any combination from this location to any other locations. And the other two will not be in play, so we've got Avengers Mansion, which would have been nice. You may draw until you have three cards in hand. Seems like a good one, or the New York Police Headquarters may discard one thug from any location. So each of those areas are going to get a fret token on them. So if we complete these locations, one of our objectives is to complete four of these. Then our double-sided thug and civilians, we'll place these as directed so on each location. Each villain then has six threat cards. We'll give them a shuffle and place them out on each of the locations. So Stark Labs gets Hydra Lee troops. Each thug in this location requires two damage to be defeated. And for us, we need to place three heroic markers there. Then we're gonna get Subversion, discard all thug and civilians from this location and advance the fear track by the number of tokens discarded this way. Then we've got Bob, Agent of Hydra, who will come in with four health. Heroes starting their turn in this location take one Crisis Token. 
So four health on him. Then next we're gonna have Avengers Tower, gets Madam Hydra. She has five health, doing damage to each hero in this location. Any hero can prevent this effect by taking one crisis token. Five health on her. Then over at Times Square, we get some brainwashing. Heroes in this and adjacent locations take one crisis token each. We need three heroic tokens to get rid of this. And this symbol means whenever the villain ends their movement on here, we will trigger that. And then lastly, we get crossbones. Six health. Deal two damage to each hero in this location. Any hero can prevent this effect by taking two crisis tokens. So then we'll take the villain's plan deck and give it a shuffle. Then each player is going to choose a hero. When you're playing solo, we're going to choose three heroes and then shuffle those stacks together. I'm just going to go straight Captain America with Iron Man and the Hulk and not play with these others. So we will take all these cards and shuffle them together. And we will place this off to the side. Our villain will start at one of the random locations. So we'll just say one, two, three, four, five, and six, and roll a die here. So he will be starting over at Central Park. And we are gonna start at the opposite location, which means we're gonna have two spaces in between us. So we start over here with Bob, Agent of Hydra. So the main changes of playing solo is we combine our decks together instead of everyone having their own separate deck. Normal gameplay, each player will draw three cards, but we will start with five cards in hand. We have one way to victory, and that is defeating the villain by removing all of his health. And we will lose in one of three ways in the normal game. There's an extra way to lose in the solo game. First is if the villain completes their task on their card. So if this goes to 20, we will lose. The villain goes to draw a planned card and there's none left. So there's a timer and there's 12 in this stack. If we start our turn with no cards in hand and no cards to draw. And lastly, if we ever discard the last card in our hand, we will lose. So the game does come with a good rule summary on the back. So the way your turn works is a villain's gonna take a turn, flipping over a card, doing everything that's on it from top to bottom. Then the hero's gonna take a turn. We're gonna draw a card, then play a card. We'll resolve our actions in any order, along with special effects and any action tokens we may have. And then at the end of our turn, if we're at a place with a location effect, we'll resolve that. And starting the game off, the villain's gonna get a turn, then we're gonna get three hero turns and keep doing that. So we complete one of these, then villain gets a turn and we get two before he goes again. And we'll keep doing that until a in-game condition is met and see which one of us wins. So starting off, we'll take a look at what happens on our turns. We have wild tokens, heroic actions, movement, and there's one more symbol which is dealing damage. So wild means we can choose any of the other three. Moving, we can move to an adjacent space. Heroic actions will complete some of these threats along with saving a civilian. And dealing damage helps us uh, take care of henchmen, the villains, and thugs. And the way this works is when we play a card, we can do those items. Then the next one gets played. We get to do this one and the one previous card. So if we played this next, we'd be doing these two wilds along with the move. So let's just go ahead and get started. We'll start with the villain phase. Red Skull is going to come out. This says he's going to move one space clockwise. So he'll move from Central Park over to Stark Labs. This area does not have one of those trigger effects. So then in clockwise order, we are gonna add these tokens. So up here, we're gonna get one thug. Here, we will get two. And over here, one thug. So that was 
One there, two here, but it can only hold one. So then since we have overflow, we go to the chart that says the token can't be added to a location. Increase the fear track by one for each token you couldn't add. So we're up to one on the fear track. And then one more goes over here. And this starts our storyline. So now we get to play three hero cards. So first we draw a card and now we can play a card. But unfortunately, Bob, Agent of Hydra, heroes starting their turn in this location take one crisis token, which will trigger some bad things later, I'm assuming. This is my first playthrough of this. But the rules look fairly easy, so I'm giving it a shot as a rookie. So since we're all standing right there, I think I want to do some fighting. So we're going to use Iron Man for two wilds. We're going to make those two wilds be attacks to two damage to Bob. That will end our turn. So start of our next turn. Bob is still there, so we take a crisis token. Draw a card, and then play a card. So we'll have Hulk go. He's gonna get us one wild, we're gonna get these two also. So we're gonna use two to take care of Bob. So we've completed one of Red Skull's threats. So we can take one of these tokens to put here. So we're one fourth of the way done with one of these threats. We still have one attack left. So we'll take care of one of these thugs and put him down here. And we'll end our turn. And since we have this uncovered, we may move to any other location. I think we'll just have Hulk move over here to Times Square because that's a good place to put him right in the center of the population. For next turn, Bob has been taken care of, so we're not getting any more crisis. So we just draw a card and play a card. And I think we're gonna go with Iron Man for movement and a heroic action. So we have Iron Man go over to Shield Headquarters. We use his heroic to save a civilian. And use this as an attack to take out a thug. Then we're gonna keep on with the storyline. Now this is gonna go on forever, so I am gonna consolidate in a little bit. But since we've taken three hero turns, Red Skull gets to go, so he's gonna come out. He's gonna move around five spaces. So one, two, three, four, and five. He's gonna end up in Central Park. And then he's adding a whole lot of stuff. So over in this area, he's gonna add, or attempt to add a thug and a civilian, but there's no room. So we're gonna advance the track twice. Then here, he wants to add two thugs and two civilians. Track is full, so it's gonna go up four. So we're up to seven. And then up where Hulk is at, he wants a thug and a civilian, and we actually have space there. So a thug and a civilian. Now we'll complete his turn. So we're gonna set these up, make sure we have the last one up back here. So now for our turn, we draw a card and play. So whatever we do, we are gonna get the move and heroic. So we're gonna let Captain America go. So he's got a move and three heroic actions coming up. Gonna to move to Shield Headquarters, use our three heroic actions to put tokens on this threat, which will complete it. So that's one more done. And end of turn, we may discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck to remove one crisis token from anywhere. And since our hand is our life, I'm gonna pass on that and proceed to our next turn. We've got the Hulk. We're gonna put Iron Man back to work, moving and punching, and he gets the two heroic actions. Moving to Stark Labs. Punching a thug. Rescue a civilian and place one marker there. So we moved, punch, rescued, and heroic here. All right, next turn. 
We're gonna have Cap come in. So he's got a move, punch, and two heroics. So we will move, punch a thug, and two heroics to actually, these guys have two health each. So the one guy we didn't actually kill, so that's something we need to pay attention to. So he just put one damage on him, Captain America went over and took care of the other one. So I think we're back to right. We've got our two heroic actions now, so we can do that. To finish off our Hydra Elite Troops. I guess I could have defeated that first and it would have taken care of the others, but oh well. Learning the game here. So we've taken care of three threats. Now we may swap one card from your hand with one of your cards in the storyline. I think we will swap this one for that one. We've had our three hero turns, so time for the villain to go. He's going to move to, and now we get our first instance of a bam. So one and two. So his bam ability is deal one damage to each hero in Red Skull's location and increase the fear track by two, so we're up to nine there. Then we'll do the bam ability on each of the threat cards out. So deal one damage to each hero in this location, and any hero can prevent this effect by taking a crisis token. So fortunately, no heroes there. And over here, same thing's happening, but we deal two damage to each hero in this location. Any hero can prevent this effect by taking two crisis tokens. So no heroes there, so that doesn't hurt us. Then he's adding a bunch of civilians out for us. One in this space. Two up here. And one more. Then we're gonna use Hulk. I could finish off that threat, but I figure why finish that off when we're so far away on the next one. So we are gonna punch for one to get rid of a thug. Put down two heroic tokens. And then for our movement, we'll go up to Avengers Tower. Ending our turn. Actually, I forgot to draw one. So I'll draw again, Captain America here. And we'll go ahead and use him for one movement. And we have three attacks. We'll take out three thugs. Ending our turn. New turn, Iron Man. But I think we're going to use a different Iron Man card. So we have three attacks and one move. We're going to use two here, which will finish off one of our missions. So now the villain acts after every two hero cards. Then we will move and punch one more time. Ending our turn. So we'll keep Iron Man on top. Red Skull will go. He's going to not move and bam, which is not good for Iron Man. So deal one damage to each hero in Red Skull's location and increase the fear track by two. So this is going to go to 11. And we're taking our first damage. So when we take damage, we have to get rid of one of the cards in our hand and put that on the bottom of the deck. And I think it's going to be Captain America's move card. Put that on the bottom. Oops. Then unfortunately, got all my people at different areas. So deal one damage to each hero in this location. Any hero can prevent this effect by taking one crisis token. We will do that. And down here on Captain America, two damage to him. We can prevent this by taking two crisis tokens. Which will probably hurt us later, but not right now. So now we get two activations. So we'll draw a card and play a card. We're going to use the Hulk. So he gets a move, a punch, and heroic. So moving, punching, and heroic 
we'll finish this one off. So we've now completed all four threats. So now the villain is now vulnerable to damage. And end of our turn, we may rescue one civilian from this location. So we'll put that on over here. Then drawing a card and playing a different one. So Iron Man's coming in with two attacks. He's got a heroic. So we will heroically save rescue a civilian and punch Red Skull for two. And now it's Red Skull's turn. So he's not going to move at all. And then Hell Hydra, discard all civilians from locations with heroes and deal one damage to each of those heroes. Advance the fear track by the number of, disc of uh, civilians discarded this way. That's not good. So we've got one here. Two over here, and two here. So we discarded all civilians from locations with heroes. Now we deal one damage to each of those heroes. Well, that is us. So let's see. Guess we'll keep this one card. So we're one card away from losing. All right, for our turn, drawing a card and playing a card. Unfortunately, Cap can't reach with just a movement of one. So I think we're gonna keep going with Iron Man. So he gets one wild and two punches. So we're hitting for three. So three damage. So we're gonna get one more turn here. Now we're down to Captain America. So we'll go ahead and play that. We've got wild move and a punch. So we got our movement. We'll use the wild for another movement and then punch for one. So Skull has two left, but unfortunately now it's his turn. Any damage will end this game. So we might've got lucky there. He's gonna move one and bam. So he deals damage to each hero in his location. None there, increase the threat track or field track by two, so up to 13. Then he's adding a bunch of civilians. One in this spot. Two up there, it's only got room for one. So up to 14. And then one more over here. So it looks like it's up to cap. It's gonna draw a card and play a card. Two wilds. So he already got a move and a punch. So he will move over here with Red Skull. Punch for one and use his wild to punch for another one. So we got a win for heroes here, but it's not like it was easy. We only had one card in hand, so one more damage and Red Skull would have come out victorious. So that's the basics of how to play. I think other than the health thing, uh, didn't mess up anything there, but I think we got that fixed without changing the outcome of the game. So once again, this is just a lightweight cooperative gameplay with a Marvel theme. There is more stuff on the way as far as expansions, and these sound like interesting ways to play. So on this one, uh, heroes cannot damage Taskmaster as long as there are crisis tokens on any locations. And when he bams, deal one damage to each hero in Taskmaster's location and add a crisis token there. And if a civilian or thug token can't be added to a location, add a token to that location. So heroes can discard crisis token from a location with no civilians or thug tokens there by using a heroic or fight action there. And then for Ultron, for his BAM, he adds three thrugs to his location and deal one damage to each hero there. For overflow, if a th civilian or thug token can't be added to a location, add that token to the next location clockwise instead. 
and his villainous plot, when all locations are fully occupied by civilians or thugs, the heroes lose. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. If so, please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.